New DC Multiverse Joker and Green Arrow figures coming from McFarland Toys. No Way Home Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man figures coming from Tomasi Nations. New Marvel Legend listings and a whole lot more. So let's jump right in. <laughs> figure enthusiasts out there jc here and welcome to a monday edition of tni news as always we've got a lot to cover and let's start off today with some news from super 7 so just an update a story that i talked about on friday super 7 later in the day revealed their their who framed roger rabbit figures which did up, end up being reaction figures the the three and three quarter inch or four inch reaction figures so they are doing a whole wave of, of characters from that movie. Unfortunately, it's not Ultimates like I was hoping, but you know who knows? Maybe at some point we will actually see 7-inch Ultimates figures based on this movie as well. But for now, we are getting the reaction figures, and these are available for pre-order at our sponsor, Entertainment Earth. Also, just today, Super 7 announced that they're going to be doing a Dragon Zord, a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Dragon Zord figure for their Super Cyborg line. Now, these figures generally stand around 11 or 12 inches tall. Oftentimes, they do multiple versions. Usually, they'll do one with clear translucent plastic and then just a regular version. Now, no idea on when we're going to get the full reveal on this one or when it might go up for pre-order, but likely, I would say, uh, very soon. For you Final Fantasy fans, we've got some new Final Fantasy Tactics figures, part of the Bring Arts line from Square Enix. So these three figures just went up for pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store this morning. These figures stand a little bit under six inches tall. So the three figures are uh, uh, Delita, I think that's how you say it, and they come with two swords, a sheath, and a figure stand. Then we are getting the character Agrius which comes with multiple hands, a sword, and a figure stand. And then finally, uh, Ramza, which comes with three pairs of hands, an alternate right hand, a sword, and a figure stand. And as I said, all three of these figures are available for pre-order now. Updating another story I talked about last week, we got some additional images of that He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Ram-Mam figure that is part, you know, it's based on the new Netflix uh, CGI series, which is getting a second season starting on March 3rd. Now with these updated images, it shows off its uh, play feature, which I had previously said, I didn't think she could roll up and do her ramming feature like we see in the in the show. But it looks like based on these new images, she has that, that helmet that she puts on that kind of forms half of a ball. And um, it does kind of look like you do have that actual play feature with this figure. So I don't know how well it's actually going to work, but um, it is kind of cool they're including that. Now this figure, it is available for pre-order at places like our sponsor Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store. And we'll, we'll be seeing release uh, probably within the next uh, few months. Now for you fans of My Hero Academia, we've got two new figures coming from Kyoto for the Amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech line. Now these images come via Isaac Wong in an overseas event that took place this weekend. You can see these are unpainted prototypes for the figures that were on display. But we are getting the character Endeavor as well as Hawks. So they've already done a number of Rebel Tech uh, My Hero Academia figures, and these two will soon be joining the line. I don't have any specifics like release dates or anything like that, but that information will likely be coming soon. NECA Toys has released additional images for their upcoming Batman Beyond Batarang replica. So we had seen this previously, but now we have these new images. Now this has a light up LED feature with the blue lights. And this, according to NECA, is uh, shipping to Target stores now, so you should start seeing it on shelves there very soon. And then eventually it will be available everywhere, probably within a few months. But Target's going to be the first place getting a crack at this. And if you're into replicas and like Batman Beyond, this is one you'll probably want to check out. On the Star Wars front, first of all, I just wanted to let you guys know that it looks like Wave 32 has started to hit Target stores. Now Hasbro had shown off this wave previously, but it has not gone up for pre-order officially anywhere. But again, according to the fat folks at Yak Face, who I believe found these figures themselves, they are starting to hit Target stores. So the wave, the wave includes uh, the Bad Batch character Echo and Omega, as well as Death Watch Mando, and then Ahsoka from the Mandalorian series, and the client also from the Mandalorian series. So um, if you're wanting to get your hands on these figures right away, you might want to start checking your, your Target stores. I don't know yet when this wave will actually go up for pre-order online, but hopefully it will be pretty soon. 
And then just also a quick reminder, as I told you on Friday, starting tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, you can expect the Black Series Dark Trooper figure from the Mandalorian series. It is a deluxe figure, one we haven't actually seen yet. Uh, I believe, I, I was the first to tell you guys about it, that it was coming, but I believe Hasbro uh, then confirmed that in one of their pipeline uh, reveals during one of their live streams. But uh, we haven't seen any images of the figure yet. That should be coming tomorrow. The figure will be available everywhere, including sponsors, uh, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. And again, that should go live at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And then also, again, just a reminder that Boba Fett figure, uh, that was supposed to have originally gone up for pre-order last week. It's also supposed to go up for pre-order tomorrow around 1 p.m. Eastern time, but that again is a Walmart exclusive. So, um, you know, we'll have to see if they actually have it up by 1 p.m. and then how long it lasts. You know, your guess is as good as mine. And then switching over to Marvel, again, uh, going up for pre-order everywhere tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time should be that X-Men wave. Uh, so uh, final reminder, we, we should be getting uh, that tomorrow uh, along with the full-on official images. We had seen some initial images during one of their live streams. But, you know, we'll get the full gallery of images for all the figures in the wave, including uh, the Build-A-Figure. Though, I mean, honestly, we got pretty good looks at them during their last live stream. But if you've been wanting to pre-order this wave, again, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, everywhere, including our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. For you Tomasi Nation's SH Figure Arts fans, we got images and details for a new Doctor Strange figure based on the upcoming multi in, in the Multiverse of Madness movie. So this version comes with a soft goods cape, uh, a little bit different sculpting, comes with a pretty cool new magic effect. Looks like he's shooting a dragon out of his hand. So um, uh, you also get just the typical uh, discs magic effect pieces like we always see with Doctor Strange. He comes with multiple hands. So uh, this figure is supposed to be out in April. It has not yet gone up for pre-order, but should likely be going up soon. And if you're into Doctor Strange, this might be one that you want to check out. To me, you know, I mean, we've gotten so many Doctor Strange figures recently, but I am kind of digging that magic effect piece that is included with this one. Tomasi Nations also has teased that they're going to be doing uh, No Way Home Spider-Man figures of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. Not terribly surprising. I'm pretty sure Hasbro will eventually as well. But it looks like Tomasi Nations is getting a jump on things. Uh, no images of the actual figures yet. They just said uh, we'll be coming soon. So when more details become available on those, I'll be sure to pass them on to you guys. For you Hot Toys fans, we finally got the full reveal for their No Way Home Doc Ock figure. So this has gone up for pre-order at places like Big Bad Toy Store. There's a regular version and then there's a deluxe version that's going to have additional nanotech tentacles that you can switch out with the regular ones. So, um, you know, like usual, I would say go with the deluxe one if you're going to get this one. Uh, but definitely, uh, you know, overall looks cool. I don't know. The face sculpt maybe looks a little bit off to me, but he does have like removable glasses. The tentacles, you know, are posable and everything. So, uh, you know, maybe they'll touch up the face a little bit before final release. But as I said, this figure is available for pre-order now. And then I have some new Marvel Legend listings that have popped up thanks to JT Prime uh, for the information. So um, in regards to the Disney Plus wave, I previously already told you about Hawkeye and Kate Bishop were coming. Uh, we now have, looks like Miss Marvel and Moon Knight are in the line as well. Now that, that wave is going to have a total of seven figures as well as a Build-A-Figure. Uh, no idea what the Build-A-Figure is going to be. And then also for the new Thor movie, he reveals uh, that we're getting Thor in a new costume, which uh, you've probably seen possibly um, concept art leak out online for. Uh, we're getting Jane Foster Thor and then Gore the God the Butcher, which is gonna be played by Kristen Bale in the movie. So it looks like those are all going to be getting the Marvel Legend treatment. And then um, also uh, a listing has popped up online and this might be a movie figure. I, I don't know for sure. It is listed as Thor King Valkyrie. It is a deluxe figure. So no other details other than just this listing that has popped up online. Big thanks to Preternia for the heads up on that. And when more details become available on it, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Of course, until Hasbro officially confirms any of these, we will continue to treat them as rumors. Okay, and then finally for today, I'm going to leave off with a couple of bits of McFarlane toy news for DC Multiverse. So this weekend, thanks to Walmart, we got our first look at a new gold label figure. This is the Joker from Death of the Family. 
So this is a variation of uh, one of the previous Jokers that we've gotten in the line. You can see the head sculpt. He's got kind of the sewed on face, looks like. And he's got the bright coat with the big uh, lapel flower. And he's got uh, a bat symbol looking axe, which is pretty cool looking. So this is a Walmart exclusive. Again, it's part of the Gold Label line and it is listed as a Walmart exclusive. Now Walmart listed this figure along with the images on their website, but it was not available for actual purchase. And last time I checked, it was not available for purchase. I don't know when exactly it will be available for purchase or pre-order, but hopefully soon I will put a link to the listing on the Walmart website so that you can keep it for future reference. And finally for today, we got a preview image of an Injustice 2 Green Arrow figure, which overall I think looks pretty cool, though it does look like he suffers from the side eye, which is something we've been seeing more and more with McFarlane figures. I don't know why. Um, I, I get asked a lot why, why we keep getting the side eye, and I, I really don't know why they keep doing that. But um, uh, it's hard to tell for sure, but I believe he is kind of looking off to the side. So maybe McFarlane thinks that's better for dynamic posing. I, I don't know, but but um, definitely. Uh, otherwise, though, you know, other than the eyes, maybe, I, I think this is a pretty cool looking figure. And even though I'm not really into the video game itself, you know, I think this will actually make a kind of a cool comic book based green arrow as well. So no idea yet when this figure is going to be available for pre-order. It should be soon. I don't know if it'll be this week. Uh, if I hear anything more on it, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Okay, so that's it for today. Remember, tomorrow, a uh, number of pre-orders from Hasbro for both Marvel Legends and Black Series starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Most of it's general release stuff, but there is the Walmart exclusive Boba Fett figure as well. So good luck on getting a hold of that if that's something you're wanting to add to your collection. And as always, guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. Like this video if you're so inclined. As always, stay safe out there. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.